So the biggest question here is what is a VPC endpoint or what are VPC endpoints, isn't it? Uh, so VPC endpoint enables private connections between your VPC and supported AWS services and VPC endpoint services powered by AWS private link. For now, just ignore the last part here. We will have a separate topic altogether for private links. So don't worry about that. And the best part is that a VPC endpoint does not require an internet gateway, NAT device, VPN connection, or even an AWS Direct Connect connection as well. Along with that, they are horizontally scaled, redundant, and highly available VPC components. And as I already told you, that this is going to be a private connection. And instances in your VPC do not require public IP addresses to communicate with resources and the services because it remains as a private connection. And there are two types of VPC endpoints that we have. So the first one is interface endpoints and the second one is gateway endpoints. So don't worry about that. We will talk about them in detail. But what is that comes to your mind when you think of an endpoint? You know what's the dictionary meaning of endpoint? It says the end of something or something that you are trying to achieve. In a general sense, you can say sentences like, I don't feel like I am at an end point or even at a midpoint in my career. Or something like we have reached an acceptable end point in this litigation. So an end point can be termed as something that gives you a perspective of a state or entity for you to reach to a conclusion and you might as well get the result or response back. But when it comes to the computing world, we mostly think of an endpoint as it could be an interaction point for communication or it can be a URL or one end of the communication channel or it could be a URL where your service can be accessed by the client application. Just keep this in your mind that an endpoint could be a URL where your service can be accessed by the client applications. And I think you are getting an idea of what we are moving forward with. So let's check that out. So when we speak about interface endpoints, remember that the interface endpoint uses an elastic network interface to create our VPC endpoint connection. So it's very easy to remember this way, like interface endpoint uses elastic network interface, isn't it? I know it sounds dumb, but if you have to recall things instantly, try connecting the dots. Now you know what the context is, let's talk about this in detail. So if you see the visual on the right hand side, in the case where if I did not have an option for VPC endpoints to privately access Kinesis data streams, I would obviously make use of the internet gateways and I would use the default DNS name of the AWS service for that, which is in this case is kinesis.us-west-2.amazonaws.com and that is what my instance is going to use. So now let's change things. Now that AWS has provided us with an option to access Kinesis data streams privately by creating VPC endpoints, that actually solves many of our problems. Now let's come back to the VPC endpoints. So an interface endpoint uses an elastic network interface or ENI as you can see on the diagram as well and a private IPv4 address. This private IP address is taken from the IP address pool of your subnet and will be used for the ENI. And this serves an entry point for traffic which is destined to, to a supported AWS service like Kinesis or a VPC endpoint service. And VPC endpoint service, which is one more very important service which makes use of the network load balancers. And we will discuss this in AWS private link. Don't worry about that. But where we will try to join a VPC endpoint service and a VPC endpoint and create a private link connection between VPCs. And moving on with interface endpoints, you can talk to AWS services without having the need to use the NAT gateways or devices or virtual private gateways. So coming back to the visual again, once you've created the interface endpoint using the Elastic Network interface, now our instance can access the Kinesis data streams privately using the endpoint specific DNS host name, which is VPC-123, that is going to be VPC ID dot Kinesis dot US hyphen West hyphen two dot vpce which is vpc endpoint dot amazon aws dot com which uses the private ip from the subnet of your vpc and if you wish to use the private dns we need to enable that so let's enable that and in order to enable the private dns you must set the following vpc attributes to true one is 
enable DNS host names and the next one is enable DNS support. And in this way, if you don't want to use the private IPs or the IP address and if you want to use the DNS names, you can as well use that. So now let's talk about the second type that is the gateway endpoints. So a gateway endpoint is basically a gateway which you specify as a target for a route in your route table whose destination is pointed to the AWS service. It's very simple. So we create the VPC endpoint and add that to the route table as a target in order to access the AWS service. But you need to remember that gateway endpoints are supported for only the AWS services and they are Amazon S3 and DynamoDB. And if you see here, we have the subnet A, which is associated with the internet gateway, which helps it to connect to the Amazon S3. But if you see the second subnet, the subnet B has a route to the VPC endpoint ID where the destination is Amazon S3 service. So even though it doesn't have an internet gateway, it is able to access the AWS service. Of course, with the help of the VPC endpoints. So remember one thing very carefully that the interface endpoint uses the elastic network interface and the gateway endpoint uses the route table for routing and traffic redirection to access the AWS service. And that is private. And if you see the route table as well here, so the subnet one or the subnet A has the local redirection towards the CIDR block for the VPC and all the internet facing traffic has been directed towards the internet gateway. And the subnet B that you have, if it wants to access the Amazon S3, so we have the prefix list ID for Amazon S3 and the target is obviously VPC ID. I hope you will remember this, that the interface endpoint uses the elastic network interface and the gateway endpoint uses the route table for routing and traffic redirection to access the AWS service. And that remains private.